Welcome to the iPhone 6 Take Apart Guide. First remove the two pentalobe screws at the bottom. And then using a suction cup, remove the display like this. Once the iPhone is open, you will first want to unplug the battery. To do this, remove the two Phillips screws from the shield holding down the battery connector. Now remove the shield. Then using a nylon spudger tool, unplug the battery. To remove the display, unscrew the Phillips screws from the shielding here. Now remove the shield. Now use your nylon spudger tool to remove all the connectors. Next to remove the logic board, you will need to remove all the Phillips screws from the board. There are also some specialty screws that have a hole in the middle. You can either use a flathead screwdriver or the torque screw to remove them. Now remove the two Phillips screws from the shield located at the top of the board. Remove the shield and then use your nylon spudger tool to remove the two cables. Next, remove the Phillips screws located here. Now, remove the Phillips screws from around the camera. Unplug the camera cable and then lift up the board from the bottom with a nylon spudger tool. Next remove the Phillips screw from underneath the camera cable. Remove the shield covering the camera and then remove the camera. Next remove the two Phillips screws from the vibrator. and then remove the vibrator. Now remove the Phillips screws from the headphone jack. And then remove the screws from the speaker assembly. Once those screws have been removed, the speaker assembly can be taken out. Now remove the remaining screws.
Next, carefully use your nylon exposure tool to remove the cable from the back case. Then use your exposure tool to remove the microphone from the back case. Now the headphone assembly and lightning cable will come out. Next you will need to use a thin flat tool to remove the battery from the casing. The adhesive holding the battery in is very strong and if you remove the battery you're likely to damage it. Once the battery is removed, you can then remove the adhesive from the back case. Now remove the Phillips screws holding in the volume assembly. Next, carefully use your spudger tool to remove the cabling from the casing. Now on the opposite side, remove the Phillips screws from the power button assembly. Then using your spudger tool, carefully remove the cable from the back case.